How's it going, Rednecks? Today we're in my garage and we're going to work on the uh, blue Oldsmobile. And what we're going to be working on is the uh, driver window. Last time I drove this, it fell inside the door. And I got to say, it was a pain in the butt to get this thing back up. But I do know that the uh, motor is actually working because that's holding the window up right now. So luckily it stayed closed. But now that I got my garage back and we got this thing in here, it's safe to pull this thing apart. And in case I can't get it done today or uh, something's missing that I need to order, it's not going to get wet and it don't have to sit outside in the rain. So let's get started by getting this door open getting the uh, door panel off and seeing what's going on well there we go with the uh, door panel off we can see that the uh, window ribbon I believe that's what this is called is still intact and good which means this uh, that's actually what drives the window up and down I guess I should uh, explain that but uh, in these old cars they had a window ribbon which we will be replacing on the passenger side so yippee but right now that's not what is causing this window to fail um, what's happening is I bring the motor down and the window just falls inside the door so whatever connects the window to the um, electrical mechanism or the mechanisms in here is either broken or not in place so let's bring this window down and I'm gonna do my best not to let that window fall in and destroy itself and then hopefully we'll be able to see what's going on so let me do that and I'll catch back up with you guys Well, there we go. Uh, I found the uh, culprit. If you take a look, there's a ball right here, and that is on your mechanism that runs your uh, window track up and down. And then this is right here. This is the socket right here, and that popped out of there. If you see, this window moves separate. So once I uh, pop that in, I imagine we'll be good. I'm going to inspect that part. I'm going to pop it out and actually inspect the part and see if there's any cracks in it. Well, just as I suspected, this part right here is uh, broken. If you take a look, the ball pops into there, and that's what holds it, and then it slides in a track. And if you take a look, I'll try and do this in the light. Look at that thing. It's broken right open. I can bend it right over. The crack goes all the way through, and the bottom is the only thing holding it together. So, Yeah, I'm going to have to get on the internet, order that part, see how much it is. I might actually make a run to the uh, junkyard because I need another part for uh, the back of this car, nothing that big, but I seen there's one there, so perhaps I'll go there tomorrow, I'll rip a part off, but either way, I'll get back to you. Well, Rednecks, it's the uh, next day, and I already have the part needed. Um, it was $13, I got it at AutoZone, and the part number is 70896. And to be honest, I don't need the uh, black piece right there. All I had to do was pop this piece right here out of the uh, ball right here so this is the socket part of it and that should be all I need to uh, fix my window so see if we can't get that guy popped on I'm gonna put some grease on it maybe clean up the track on the car and then uh, yeah we'll get this installed and hopefully that'll pop right on and we'll be good to put this thing back together so let's get back to work
Well, there we go, Rednecks. Now that we have the uh, clip put in with it all greased up and ready to go, I can show you this is the uh, grease just for those of you wondering. It's a pretty lightweight grease. You don't want anything that heavy because that window needs to move. And if you hit, get something too tacky, I'm afraid it would drag it down. Um, as well as if you see, if you've noticed, I've uh, tinted the window. This window wasn't tinted when I bought the car. Every other window was tinted. And I got to say, they're not tinted all that well. If you take a look at like this right here you can kind of see there's some bad cuts in the tent right there it's not all the way up against the edge of the window um coming over to the passenger front one they didn't even do along the bottom there so the window tent jobs not the greatest i'm going to be redoing that one and uh for those of you who are interested at the end of the video i will uh put myself or put a video of me putting this on it's not going to be me going over anything or what i use i uh i'm just going to do a video at the end of this and uh yeah i messed up i did one didn't work out it's been eight years since i've done it so forgive me but it looks pretty good i'm happy with it let's get that door panel put back on and uh, finish this thing up Why? Why? Oh, the keys are in the ignition. <laughs> All right, Rednecks, it's the next day, and I tell you what. Getting into this car is dang near impossible. Um, this right here insets in about an inch and a half, which means you'd have to pry this door open an inch and a half just to get something in here. I don't know if you can go in through here. Typically, you have to have a uh, vertical lock to uh, get a Slim Jim down inside the window here. But luckily, I went to the local GM place, gave them my VIN number, brought my title, and they cut me a key. So we're going to see if this key will work because I tell you what, I've tried my Oldsmobile keys in this, I tried Tony's uh, Dirty Gertie keys in it, I tried my Pontiac 6000 keys, I had an old pair of S10 keys, I had my dad's old Suburban keys, and nothing will open this freaking lock and I need my keys. So hopefully you guys are going to witness a miracle and this key is somehow going to open that door. Oh man, I got my fingers crossed. No, no, this can't be. This can't be. No, come on. Just work. Okay, I tell you what. You see that key right there? If you let that key work, I won't treat you like the yellow Oldsmobile. You're my baby. You're my baby. Oh, just, just work just work you can you can work but I said it would work come on okay oh okay that is lock on lock oh boy <laughs> Oh, oh, my precious! Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> wow, I almost lost my cool there for a second. Well, with this thing finally all done, window tinted, window working, everything mechanically sound, and door panel put back on, I can end this video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Comment, like, share, subscribe, and get back to work.